Today's uh, recording from indoors, and uh, just had another part of the bike delivered. And little one over there is eager to probably get in the box once I've opened it. Well, it's opened anyway, but I reboxed it because I know people like watching unboxing, so I unboxed it and I reboxed it again so you can uh, see me get out of the box what, uh, what actually come in the post this morning in this box. Right, so. I bet you're all wondering what what the hell's in that, that box? Why why is it so big? Well, let me show you. Let me show you what they sent in this box. <laughs> it's to do with the bike, like the, the bits of bike build. Yeah, let me get it. Let me get it. Oh, it's so heavy and so big. <laughs> 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 that's it, that's what come in the box. Is that taking the piss or what? You know what I mean? <laughs> could have, could have, the last time I had some handlebars delivered, they were delivered like in a in a in a bag type of thing with a with a sticky label on it. So that you know it got posted like that. But you wonder why there's sort of like a hold up in the postage when they deliver things like that in boxes that size? Anyway. What can you see? What's outside there? Should you be up there? Don't think so. Off you go. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, um, round the garage. I'll stick them on and I've, I think I've solved the front mud guard issue. If, yeah, I probably have solved the front mud guard issue, so we're going to go and have a, have a quick check of that as well. So that would be uh, part six, we'll be putting all that, th them handlebars on and all the controls and stuff and the, uh, the left hand grip, yes can't wait to put that on and the, um, uh, and the front mud guard, we're going we're gonna to change that over and put the front mud guard on, so I'll be back. So what we have here is the, uh, this is the, the front mud guard off the XJ750. And I took that off ages ago, ages and ages ago, because just get that if you can see it, there's a crack down the bottom there that, that is working its way up. So I'm gonna need to weld weld that up and then rub it down and then respray the mud guard. So I can put that back on the XJ. I think it's got one the other side as well. <coughs> One, one, one both ends there, there's another crack there, look. So I need to weld that up as well. So once I've done that, and that can go back on the XJ. And what's on the XJ at the moment, believe it or not, is a XS650 front mud guard. So I can get rid of that ugly mother there <laughs> and um, put that back in the back of the garage where it belongs, not on a bike. Take that off and and put a proper XS 650 one on it. Then I'll show you on the uh, on the uh, XJ. So there's the XJ. Let me uh, get in there in the dark. Hopefully I feel. Don't know if you can see that. And there it is. So now I've got to get in, got to get that off somehow. Take that off and um, put it on the other one. Yeah, so at least we've got another mud guard anyway. So. Right, I'll be back in a minute. Battery's about halfway, so I'll probably be able to change it over before it runs out. Yeah, nice view of the ugly. Ugly front mud guard there. Take it off.
no more OCD on the front of my guard. Yeah, that definitely have to give that a little wipe. changing these bars over I'll give you some music which me and my mate created the other night needs a bit of um, needs a bit more doing to it but what I do is you can have a little listen to what I mess around with on a Thursday night so enjoy it Adjust the screw there. Let's get out a bit. Uh, adjust the screw there. I need to cut that down the size a little bit and cut a bit of that off because when it goes round, it just misses. In fact, it's hitting. And I need to cut it right down to the nut almost. Put a small line in there. It doesn't need to be that big, really. So I could just, it works with it anyway. <laughs> it's, a, it's actually, you can't see it. It's actually pushing, 
pushing that the plunger in with, without the screw even being there. So I don't know if the screw was to push push it out more. I expect so. Give you a bit more a bit more pulling power with that lever further away. But I'll just put a smaller screw in there and get a screw that length really. Get it the right distance out. Lock tight that in there. And just use it like that. We'll change that out altogether. Now that's way too long. Way too long. Right, yeah, I like the handlebars. It gives it that nice, that wide feeling. Like the other one, like the SF, that's got wide bars on it like this. In fact, the SF bars are an inch wider than these. And I, I love riding that bike because it just feels so comfortable. So, got our handlebars on. Got our lovely front mud guard on now. That looks cool. So, just wait for the postman to turn up with me fucking headlight brackets and I can stick them on as well. And then, once most of the bike's done, then I can start rebuilding this engine down there. I'm going to strip that down completely and rebuild it. I'm either going to use the the crank that I, that I purchased for it, or I'm going to change or, or break this, split this crank in this one and put the new comrods in. Uh, it's only the little ends that are knackered on that engine. The bearings and everything else feel alright. I've got um, plenty of other engine parts laying about all over the place for. Uh, rebuilding these anyway so we give that a go next well not next uh, when it when we get to it uh, for the moment i want to get the uh, all the bike ready completely ready for having the engine plonked in and then take it for a spin that's what you want to do in it so until it's like it's winking at you isn't it where's my other clock <laughs> well uh, thanks for watching this 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 episode this is episode six, and a uh, quick one today. I thought, I'd, and actually, I thought I'd just do them in all different parts, and just you know, just sort of um, if people just want to see one bit of it. They haven't got a true trawl for the whole, the whole um, video, just to find the bit they're looking for if they want to learn anything, or um, watch me do whatever I do on them. I've still got to change them forks out. Uh, sorry, springs. I've got to change them springs out. Don't like them. They got to come off. Uh, I thought that was that was right under there. The blue, and, the blue and white. The blue and white goes to the on this um, starter solenoid. You got the live wire, which goes onto here, the red and white, and that goes through through a a um, coil inside the starter switch. And out through the blue and white wire, which goes into the into the relay safety relay, see it safety relay, and then from the safety relay through the loom and all the way back up into the into the left hand into the left hand switch to the starter button, and it goes from the starter button to earth. So when you press the starter button it creates the circuit, it clicks over the solenoid and then you get power, main main amplitude through the two terminals into your starter motor. That's how that system works. And the reason they put that I think the reason they put that um, safety relay in there is when that when that gets voltage from the alternator, then it tells that that the bike is running so it disconnects the starter button so you can't use the starter motor while the uh, while the engine's running that's, uh, that's the reason for that and i think that's like attached to all the neutral light or something or something else might be thinking of something else now but yeah 
you probably don't you probably don't even need it if you if you're not stupid enough to do that while the engine's running. It's always the way when I put the camera away. Look, I found another one in my, in my box of um, my brake levers and stuff. I found one here. Look, doesn't have the doesn't have the bolt there. So you can put that on and it won't interfere with the uh, the switch gear. Brand new, never been used. Another, another Chinese jobby. Oh no, it's got a chip on it. <laughs> so yeah, I'll stick that one on. I'll stick that one on. Yeah, it's even got it's even got a little slot in there. The, where the wires go from the uh, from the switch gear here, look. And you got the, your brake light, brake light wires for the brake light switch. Yeah, I'm going to try that one on. I think that'd be better, much better. Anyway, again, I'll catch you later on the next one. See ya.